Is it working? Hello, everyone. So you see I have a dark shirt. I also have a dark presentation, so I hope that uh, this presentation won't be so dark at all, let's say. So uh, I'm Sasha Marjanovic. I'm coming from Serbia, from the University of Belgrade, Fac Faculty of Philology. And today I will be talking about a new innovative resource for the Serbian language. This is the outline of my talk. First, I will give you a break, um, let's say a short introduction. Uh, then I will review uh, some existing resources, electronic conjugators for the Serbian language, and then uh, some NLP uh, resources. And then I will present our uh, new innovative uh, Serbo web uh, application and app, and then examine its uh, multifunctionality. And then I will cl conclude with some perspectives for uh, some new work. First of all, uh, I would like to say that the Serbian, um, Serbian verbal inflection is highly complex. Uh, it uh, possesses uh, more than 100 uh, inflectional forms and uh, uh, there is a low predictability between the lemma form and uh, its uh, inflected forms and vice versa, which can be a quite challenging for all uh, uh, Serbian non-native speakers. So, uh, existing Serbian dictionaries, both paper-based and electronic ones, are not so um, uh, of much help because they are mostly designed for native speakers of Serbian, so non-native speakers of Serbian can't hardly find some, uh, can fa hardly find some uh, useful information inside. Well, uh, the solution is, uh, uh, can be found in uh, the electronic lexicography, mostly in electronic conjugators. Before I start, I would like to, uh, to f say something about Serbian. It's an official language spoken in Serbia and then by Serbs in uh, Montenegro, Bosnia-Herzegovina and a Serbian minority in Croatia. It, ha it can be written in Cyrillic and Latin uh, script alphabet, then both are used. And then there is also this Akavian and Iakavian variety that is due to the reflex of the, of the let's say, past um, uh, historic sound yat. So uh, that yat, for example, this one here, e, uh, gave uh, e and ie, or, or ie in, Serb in the Serbian language. So basically, uh, if you take the word pevati, it can have so these uh, orthographic and pronouncing uh, variants, uh, pevati, pevati, Syriac Latin, and then pievati, pievati, uh, uh, so four uh, variants. This is very important for the, for the creation of new resources because uh, mostly intended for human users who, need, who can need uh, information about uh, um, uh, the Akavian or Iakavian variant or uh, those information pre presented in the Cyrillic or Latin script. And then I would like to say that the form, uh, the fourth uh, form is a standard form of the Croatian language that is a, very, uh, that is a closely, closely related language. So in my presentation I will also mention some Croatian resources because it's really very similar and, uh, and uh, due to the lack of, uh, of um, of some good quality resources for Serbian, uh, Serbian non-native speakers can sometimes use uh, creation resources. So there are some uh, some uh, uh, electronic uh, um, electronic conjugators already on the market. I can name uh, five of them. So you see, uh, the first three uh, present uh, let's say would represent the Serbian language, and the second two the creation language. They have uh, many advantages, but they also have some limitations. So I will try to assess them qualitatively. So you see some traffic light. Uh, I mean, uh, the, uh, the, the yellow dot means that something is okay. I mean, that is okay, the feature is okay. There is a list of features I analyzed according to the literature. Uh, then the red dot means that there is a problem or something is missing, the feature is not possible to uh, to access and so on. So what I said that there were five conjugators, but then if you see the first fe uh, feature, availability, there is a red dot for lexicon. It was, uh, uh, it was uh, available for 10 years and now since the last uh, website update is now, uh, not uh, available at the moment. So there are only four, uh, four, of, uh, four of them left. Then the problem is that most of them 
are not in an open access. So it means that uh, they, uh, the user ha must uh, create an account uh, that the, uh, the, the project uh, um, the coordinator has to approve. And then sometimes, mostly for the server soft, it has to be, uh, the user has to pay an annual subscription, which is not so uh, convenient. And then uh, we see that the, uh, the Serbian, uh, these three uh, uh, present, uh, the first three present uh, verbs in the Akavian variety. Uh, and the second one, uh, the, the last one, uh, two, the last two uh, do not, which is obvious because creation is not uh, um, based on the Akavian standard. But on the other side, we see that the Serbian conjugators do not present Yekavian forms, which is, which, which is problematic, for example, for users who, use, who try to learn a Serbian language from Bosnia and Herzegovina or Montenegro, for example, or the southwest of Serbia. Uh, then we see that uh, some of the, the conjugators, the Serbian conjugators, use uh, only Cyrillic script. Some of them uses, uh, use uh, a Latin script. So we can't switch from Latin to, Cer uh, to Cyrillic or Cyrillic to Latin, which is a, a bit pity. Then uh, there are some verbs, uh, for example, that are uh, diatopically marked. It means that some verbs can be, can be used only in Serbia, but not in Bosnia and Herzegovina, or some verbs uh, can be used only in Croatia, but not in, in Serbia and so on. So we can see that some of the uh, uh, Serbian um, the conjugators um, do include Serbian forms mostly, but not Croatian ones, and Croatian uh, conjugators include only Croatian forms, uh, diatopic uh, forms, and which can be uh, pretty difficult because uh, if users who, you, uh, who use those Croatian resources and learn Serbian uh, can lack information on uh, words that are used only in Serbia, for example. So let's see uh, the scope. We can see that uh, that uh, the uh, that Cerberusoft is the most uh, the biggest resource. Um, then uh, we have no information uh, on uh, lexicon scope or uh, Webex, um, and um, but we we could say that for non-native learners uh, this uh, this is quite uh, quite okay this uh, this scope. Uh, most of these resources do not uh, include compound forms, which is. Uh, a big problem because users can have a, a lot of difficulties with, uh, with, uh, with that kind of data. Uh, and uh, there are a lot of uh, works uh, re uh, that report uh, those uh, difficulties. There, are, there is also um, a conjugator that lacks, um, so verbix that lacks uh, non finite forms. And the problem of verbix is also that it possesses a lot of unreliable data. Uh, when I started searching for it, uh, uh, there were a lot of forms that I, I, couldn't, uh, I couldn't approve with. And then there were also an encoding, uh, encoding problems with some uh, characters that do not exist in Serbian and so on and so on. The problem is that all of these uh, resources are not regularly updated. They were maybe uh, just uh, done once, and uh, since then uh, they are just like like that. And we know that uh, the neology, uh, the no, no, neological processes are uh, so active. Then, uh, as regards the the search um, possibilities, uh, for example, only in uh, Serbosoft the user can type. Uh, uh, his um, his uh, uh, for the for looked up form in uh, um, in his preferred alphabet, Cyrillic or Latin, and he will get the the result in Cyr in the Cyrillic alphabet. But he uh, then or she then uh, has to be uh, has to be has to know to to read uh, the Cyrillic Cyrillic alphabet, which is not always uh, obvious. Then we have also uh, some conjugators like. Uh, the Werbix and Croatian uh, lexicons that can also uh, support uh, a non-lemma search, which is quite uh, uh, important because uh, most uh, speakers can't predict uh, the, the lemma form, and it is also very important for users to get to have the possibility to search non-lemma forms. 
Then uh, when the user gets, for example, some, uh, some non-lematic form, uh, it is very important that he has some amorphous syntactic identification. This identification is only uh, presented in a creation morphological lexicon, but in a multist uh, format, which is not really readable for, uh, let's say, non-proficient uh, non-NLP users. And then uh, uh, also, uh, co uh, what regards the the search possibilities, um, there is also in WebEx a possibility to uh, when you are typing a web, there is an autocomplete uh, feature which predicts maybe the, the end of the of the um, of the form and then saves the time for the user, which is quite okay. Then some other uh, features, uh, most of these uh, resources. Um, a possess, uh, possess a uh, user-friendly display, but without colors, without uh, different font sizes and so on. So it's uh, sometimes very difficult to read uh, those entries. And uh, these, uh, uh, these resources are not interlinked with uh, other resources like dictionaries or, uh, I mean, monolingual or bilingual dictionaries. So uh, except the creation language portal, and that's also a big, um, a big problem for users. So uh, my my team wanted to make a new con a conjugator that will try to um, to let's say um, address all the limitations of uh, already uh, presented uh, um, of all uh, existing uh, conjugators. So we uh, try to find some NLP resources, uh, some uh, morphological lexicons of the Serbian language. And uh, we found, uh, let's say, uh, at the beginning of the project, and so it was in uh, 2016, uh, we found on only uh, those from uh, Til uh, Gralis. But you see, uh, they, are, uh, they have a really big scope. Uh, they, they contain a lot of uh, lemata, but the problem is that they, are not in, they were not in an open access. And then we had to build uh, the first uh, the first uh, lexicon, Wikimorph. Uh, it was built by my colleague Alexandra Miletic, and it was completely uh, open. Uh, and um, but it didn't contain all the words. Uh, I mean, all word uh, lemata that we wanted, that we needed. Then in the same year, uh, there was Surlex. Uh, I don't have a number of. Um, of Lemata in Serblex because I, I haven't documented it uh, in 2000, back in 2016. Now uh, this uh, resource has uh, grown uh, considerably. So if I put uh, the right number now, it wouldn't, it wouldn't present the state of the art at the beginning of our project. And then uh, my colleague merged the two uh, of these resources, Wikimorph and Serblex, and obtained Parcolex, which contained uh, 14, more than 40 million uh, 14, sorry, thousand um, lemata. And uh, this uh, lexicon was uh, first used to annotate morphosyntactically uh, our uh, Parcolab multilingual uh, parallel corpus. So the project was built in 2017 at the University of Toulouse. Uh, the project con con uh, coordinator uh, was and is uh, Professor uh, Dejan Stosic from that university, and the aim of our project was to build a, a comprehensive and multilingual conjugator for the Serbian language. This is our group, our team. Uh, there are linguists, lexicographers, and NLP uh, researchers, and it is a, bilateral, a completely bilateral com uh, collaboration between uh, Toulouse and uh, Belgrade, two Toulouse uh, researchers and two Belgrade researchers. So we build uh, an app immediately uh, that can be searched for free in an open access without creating uh, any account uh, on the website that you can see on the screen. And then uh, there is a mobile phone. There is a mobile, uh, sorry, there is a mobile uh, app uh, that can be uh, used uh, on Android and iOS. I'll skip this. I'll just say that uh, there are three modules. The first module is a conjugation module that displays uh, a big, uh, uh, verb da database uh, uh, of inflectional uh, paradigms. It is based on Parkolest uh, first, uh, converted to XML. And uh, as we saw that there, it was not completely um, cover all uh, 
Serbian Limata were not uh, covered completely, we had to expand our work. So we uh, tried to extract uh, and to extract uh, all other verbs from the reverse dictionary of the Serbian language. We did it in a tabular form. Then they ta we tagged manually all the verbs. Uh, there were th uh, 30,000 words in that uh, that um, da um, that uh, table. And then uh, we develop, developed rules for generating uh, uh, inflection forms. And then when we generated new, uh, new, word, new forms, uh, we had to, op uh, to make uh, the manual verification of those forms. And we conducted that in uh, rounds. Every uh, round was organized once per year. And it uh, was, um, so the first uh, trained uh, native speakers, mostly students, had to correct and supplement those paradigms. And uh, then project co the coordinators, coordinators provided the additional verification. And then at the end, uh, we have uh, now 20 more than 20,000 words reviewed. And there are also uh, 14,000 words that still are waiting to be reviewed, but are uh, also um, searchable right now. There is also a dictionary module in our app. Uh, it, uh, it is basically um, a bilingual description from Serbian to uh, 36 uh, languages. And uh, it, we started uh, implementing the database in, in 2022. And it, uh, for, let's say, core Serbian words, we put some basic equivalents in those languages. And we still uh, uh, work on that, uh, that part of, of the application. Then there is also a gamification modules. Uh, it's an interactive module that contains a lot of games uh, that, that aim uh, uh, to, uh, that can, um, uh, help users acquire uh, verb, Serbian verb inflection. And there are some uh, gamification, gamification elements in, in there, like levels, scoring, leaderboards, and so on. It is also under um, development. So we try to see what are the user needs in, uh, in order that the, that, uh, the Serbo word can uh, be a completely functional and multifunctional tool. So it can also help, uh, help uh, users uh, in receptive functions. For example, when a when user uh, comes across uh, some uh, unknown or unrecognized uh, word form, he can just type uh, uh, any word form. Uh, then he gets a result uh, page you see with the autocomplete uh, function and there is first an ad identification block which is really uh, the most important for this uh, these receptive functions because he gets uh, uh, the, uh, the identification of the verb then he gets um, you know the equivalent in uh, um, in in his uh, languages for example for this verb at the time of uh, making the screenshot there were some nine languages i think and then he can search uh, search the you see the a paradigm block and find where his form is uh, is to be uh, in the system. And then he can uh, search for more information on in the dictionary uh, part. Then uh, as regards productive functions, if someone, for example, doesn't, uh, doesn't know um, how to conjugate uh, uh, some Serbian verb or doesn't know uh, some particular uh, form of the verb, uh, he can also search, and now the result, uh, now the paradigm block will be the most important. So, if you just see, so you see uh, how it goes, then we we also have a really uh, user friendly interface. So, we can uh, scroll up to down, down to up, and then uh, swipe uh, left to right, for example, for those masculine, feminine, and neuter forms and so on. And then if we need some more information on, uh, let's say, syntactical patterns, we go to the dictionary module and uh, we get, you know, some uh, example sentences that are translated. Yes. And then there are also cognitive functions uh, to be, uh, to be uh, mentioned. Uh, uh, well, a uh, user can use uh, a Serbo verb to uh, in, to learn Serbian inflection. He can use uh, you know uh, the same principle as uh, in the receptive and um, productive uh, um, for the receptive and, and productive situations. Uh, but and here there is also a possibility to uh, that we uh, cross-reference user to uh, uh, related verbs that. Uh, 
um, pertain to the same inflectional class, so we can click on them and uh, uh, somehow see the similarities and differences and so on. And then there is a, a gamification module uh, that is present here. If you click it on, on the exercise button, you can get to, to it. And now uh, there are some future development that we are trying to, uh, to see because we analyze user needs. We have a lot of algorithms, statistics and so on. And we have some short term plans and both longer term plans. So the short term plans are that we uh, plan to uh, develop a, tra a transliteration algorithm uh, that will allow users to uh, submit their, uh, uh, the, uh, their forms in the Cyrillic uh, alphabet and then it will be translated, uh, uh, transliterated automatically into Latin script. And then we will continue doing our uh, database verification and I, I will also uh, mention the long-term plans and then I'll finish. We'll try to expand our uh, multilingual database with uh, a lot of examples featuring uh, most, uh, let's say, basic uh, syntactic patterns of Serbian language, uh, Serbian verbs. Then we will continue uh, updating the gamification, gamification module and uh, we will start working on the pronouncing module. So this is a, a summary of my talk and Thank you very much. Thank you for your presentation. And do we have some question, questions here, here? So I'll start with you. Thank you for the talk. And as you can expect, I would like to mm, see more of, of the conjugation module. The okay. four point one. Can you can you can you go there? Yeah. So actually, you saying you are developing the rules, but in, in in the introduction you said it's it's quite difficult to infer the rules. So, so uh, is this? I mean, do you have rules or <laughs> why is that difficult? Because I mean, we, we know we have this experience mm -hmm. in in Georgian that. There are rules, but there are so many of them and it's so difficult mm -hmm. to find them. So how do you do for this development? Do you go bottom up or is this linguist coming mm -hmm. up with uh, the 100,000 rules or? Uh, well, yes, there were 121 uh, rule and with a colleague of mine, we uh, assigned a special tag um, indicating the, let's say, the inflectional class and the pattern. So we, it allows us. Uh, it allowed us to to develop uh, the complete paradigm of the web. So we did it for for all uh, thirty thousand uh, webs in the database. But why I say it is difficult to predict? Predict it is difficult for foreign years, uh, users. For example, you have in French uh, the first group of webs uh, parler. Uh, they are they're considered to be, uh, let's say, regular. But in Serbian, the most, let's say, the most frequent verbs are the verbs ending in ati. But the present for, uh, tense form can uh, end in am or am or im, and there is no any rule or pattern on. So it's so it's difficult, you know, for for human for non-native users. So okay, very much like mm -hmm. Georgian then. Yes. Thank you. And the uh, second question here. Okay, thank you very much for your presentation. Um, I think it's very useful for the learners of um, Serbian as foreign. I'm a teacher of Ukrainian as foreign, that's why I know. Um, uh, I wonder, uh, you showed this, um, this um, the conjugation of uh, um, tenses. Do you, uh, do you, do you include the, the whole paradigm or the, all, the whole tenses? And mm -hmm. I know that for the learners of Ukrainian, the hardest thing is to master perfective aspect because we have a lot of suffix, uh, prefixes. Is the same problem in Serbia and how you um, manage uh, to answer this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we only give uh, the, let's say, the paradigm of every verb. So it can, if it is an imperfective verb, we give like this radity, which means to work. We give the whole uh, verbs. If it, we have some uraditi, perfective word, that will be another entry. And they are not, uh, for now, they are not uh, cross-referenced. But we plan to do that, to assign uh, these uh, spectral pairs, which is very problematic for users. 
Uh, any, any more questions uh, here? Thank you, Sasha. Because uh, I come from the other language that is so almost the same. Uh, I'm, I was wondering about your um, lexicon, about 34,000 lemmata you have mm -hmm. in the le because uh, um, my my uh, lexicon that, that I was working with for, for creation was some 24,000, and we consider almost half of them obsolete, and, and mm -hmm. so you really used all the all the 19th uh, seventh, uh, century verbs in, in your, how, where did you uh, get your lexicon out? Is well, first of all, it was the, the, the dictionary, the reverse dictionary, Obratni Rečnik, of the yeah. Serbian language, uh, that stores all the matter from the, the big uh, volume uh, dictionary of the Serbian Academy. And we opted for that choice because we are preparing um, with the, it's actually also with Toulouse, a multilingual corpus, Serbian, French, uh, English, Spanish, and so on. And we have also text from, this, from the 19th century. And to be able to annotate and parse those texts, we need a really, really large database. And then we also made um, uh, some uh, parsing models. And, uh, you know, for the parsing, it's very important to have uh, detailed information for, for web. So we wanted to expand the, the database as much as possible. Thank you. But then we also, uh, I must say, we also, in um, during that manual uh, tagging and so on, we also annotated, let's say, 16,000 most important Serbian verbs and also 180 core Serbian verbs. So we also have that, and these verbs were published in a paper-based dictionary in 2019. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and a very short question from me. Does your application support switching the display script to Cyrillic? Uh, not right now, not right now, but we will try to, to do it uh, in a very short way, maybe this summer. Yeah. So let's uh, thank the speaker again. Thank you very much for your all com comments.